So I'm Spencer. My research this summer focused on developing a nanoparticle system for the genetic modification of plants. The conventional uh, methods for genetically engineering plants are limited in their range of application, can be complicated, and uh, take time. But nanoparticles have been developed for efficient gene delivery in mammalian systems, and there's promise in adapting those systems for plants. We synthesized three peptides, um, which are short chains of amino acids, um, and we combined them with, with DNA to create nanoparticle complexes. And then we characterized those nanoparticle formulations with gel, agarose gel electrophoresis and dynamic light scattering, which gave us an idea about like, their size and that we make sure we were forming the complex the way we'd expect. And then, so we made, we wanted to test to see if these complexes could effectively deliver the DNA to plant cells. So first we made our complexes with DNA, including a, a GFP reporter gene, and we imaged them with fluorescent microscopy, and these images are shown here. So because no fluorescence is observed with our complexes, that shows that our gene was not expressed, which means our gene did not enter the plant cells. Um, and then we tried again with the luciferous reporter, reporter gene, which emits light when it's uh, a specific substrate is added to it. We didn't see any light emission, which again shows that you know, it was not expressed and it did not enter into plant cells. Um, one of our peptides specifically, this one, the KH9 BP100, has been shown to be able to deliver DNA inside of plant cells. Um, but because our data, we weren't able to replicate that, that suggests that there's uh, some variables that contribute to the efficacy design that are not yet fully understood. Great. Great, great, great talk. So I just want to ask you, like, what do you think if this, this technique, this approach is successful, what is the possible application for your research? Yeah, so the idea is that, like, if we could make the process of genetically engineering plants much easier, that would, like, well, one, it would accelerate, like, genetic research because you could make mutants and all that stuff, like, much quicker and easier. Um, and, like, making this technology, like, some of these are, like, you have their complicated processes, so accelerating that. And then engineered plants can be useful for, like, biofortification, like, making them more nutrient-rich for humans, like, adapting to climate change, making agriculture more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Great. Great.